Okay, well, given the differential equation, dp dt this stands for population, and then we have 1.2p times the parentheses, 1 minus p over 4200. And we have three questions to answer. First one is, we would like to know for what value of p will the population be increasing, and then the second one is talking about decreasing, and the third one is when we have equilibrium solutions, meaning just like flat. This right here is the easiest to solve, and then they are all connected with each other. We have to remember what we learned from Calc 1, because to decide if a population is increasing or decreasing, we have to look at the derivative. Luckily right here, we are given a derivative already. Remember, for differential equation, we are working with derivatives. So, for population increasing, this means we have to look at dp dt that's greater than zero, right? When you have positive first derivative, that means the function is going up, and we have the population function right here, right? P stands for the population function, and then dp dt stands for the derivative of that. And decreasing means when we have dp dt is less than zero. Negative first derivative tell you the population will be decreasing. And then the third one is dp dt is exactly zero. It's flat. So we have to just solve algebra problems, that's all, because we have the derivative right here already. Otherwise, we have to differentiate uh, the original equation and then work with that. Anyways, I need to set this equal to zero, and then I have to solve 1.2p times 1 minus p over 4200. And then, it was so nice because it factored it out for us already. If this times that is equal to zero, that means 1.2p has to be zero or 1 minus p over 4200 has to be 0, right? And then for the first one, we can just divide both sides by 1.2. So p is equal to 0. And for this one, you can do this in your head. Or if you would like, you can do this, do that. You get p is equal to 4200. And in fact, you've just solved for the equilibrium solutions. Okay? So right here, the answer to that is just p is equal to 0 or p is equal to 4200. And if you have this amount of population, it won't change. You can imagine if you have zero population at the first place, right? To start with, you have zero. It's not going to get anything anymore. All right, so I would like to do a number line. So let's say P is equal to zero is right here, and then 4200 is right here, and I would like to test out dP, dT, if it's positive or negative. I will pick a number in between of zero and 4200, I will plug into the original uh, equation, okay? So I can say, let me just pick one. I'm going to test out one. And you can do this in your head. You can you look at this one, or you can look at this one, doesn't really matter. If p is equal to one, by the way, this is the p-axis. If p is equal to one, 1 1.2 times one is just positive, and then one minus one over 4200, that will also be positive. So all in all, this right here will be positive, okay? And then we consider anything that's after 4200, let's say uh, if you were like 4300, doesn't really matter which number you pick. And then do the same thing, we plug it into this equation, or well, that equation doesn't really matter, but you just have to tell me if it's positive or negative. Anyways, 4300, 1 1.2 times 4300 is positive, and then one minus, if I have 4300, over 4200, that will be bigger than 1. And if you do 1 minus something that's bigger than 1, we end up with negative. So this right here will be negative. So we, with, with that, we can answer these questions. Population is increasing when we have positive first derivative. That means when the p value, like the population, is between 0 and 4200. And we don't care about the endpoint, so it's technically like an open circle. So right here, the answer to this is P is in between of 0 and 4200. And then the population will be decreasing if you have too many people, then, then they, yeah. P is greater than 4200. That's it.